Do you love Operation, but you hate that you only experience mild discomfort when playing it? Uh. Do you pull a horse out of a man's thigh and think to yourself, God, I wish I could program this game to do whatever I want? Hi, welcome to Bringa Studios. My name is John. If you're like me, you suffer from being a fucking idiot and just can't leave well enough alone because of it. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey and together, we're gonna make my dreams into a reality. Not your dreams, just mine. Let's get started. Step one is to get a copy of Operation, which is easy enough. Everything else is gonna be a little more difficult, because I mean, there isn't much research being done in the field of Operation modding these days, so I'm gonna have to come up with how I'm gonna make the greatest version of Operation ever played all by myself. Here's what that looks like to me. It's gotta be more powerful. If grandma sits down to play this thing and she doesn't get a heart attack, it's not strong enough. It's gotta be programmable. Look at this thing, a single game mode? In 2024, Hasbro hasn't updated this thing one bit since 1965. The plan is to offload all the game logic to a computer, which will then send commands to the game to rumble the motor. The game should also be able to tell the computer when the player is a level zero bad kid and messes up. But how are we gonna do that? Because remember what I said about the game not being updated since 1965? Yeah, there's really like nothing in here. I'm gonna have to add all of my own hardware to do what I've got in mind. There's gonna be three major components that all need to get connected together. We need a motor that's much more powerful than the original one that's gonna be doing the rumbling, a microcontroller that can receive signals from the computer to rumble the motor, as well as report back to the computer when the player has made contact with the walls of each of the object chambers? What do you call this area in here? It's like a person pocket. Okay, yeah, no, we're just gonna call it the object chamber. We also need a motor controller that will amplify the signal coming from the microcontroller. The reason we need this at all is because the microcontroller is, well, dude is puny. <laughs> it can only send out 3.3 volts of power. This is what 3.3 volts looks like. Not too bad, but what if we went higher? Oh, I don't know, 12 volts? It's a lot more fun. I ordered some of these large 12 volt motors on Amazon, as well as various motor controllers. For the microcontroller, I'm gonna use a Raspberry Pi Pico since I still have a lot of these things lying around from my GameCube miniaturizing days. And I'll admit, I'm a bit of a dummy with the microcontroller stuff nowadays. The last time I ever played with anything like this was to make this epic little RC car when I was like 14. Look at this thing. We got a gigantic Lego wheel on the front comprised of smaller Lego wheels. This thing's actually sick. I should make another one. Anyway, I heard that the Raspberry Pi Pico natively runs Python, which is my programming language of choice. I slapped some basic code together to run the motor for 10 seconds. <laughs> That's 50% speed. You wanna see 100? And after seeing the raw power of just one of these motors, naturally I bought three more. Testing code with these is kind of a pain since they refuse to stay in one place. But I persevered, and after an hour of stumbling my way through Python with the help of ChatGPT, I had reached my first milestone. The code is now finally functional. Look at this, look at this. Which motor? Two. How hard? 20. How long? 10 seconds. Hit enter. Look at that, look at that. Whoa, that looks trippy. But anyway, the computer can now tell this Pico to tell this motor driver to power this motor. Not only that, but check this out. Hit this button a couple times, and the computer knows what you did. Technology is wacky. We now have two-way communication between the Pico and the computer, a way to sense contact, and a way to drive the motors. The problem, though, is that this is all disgusting. Look at this, I was soldering jumper wires directly to the Pico. Yeah, return to monkey with that one. But wait, hold up, what's the deal with this guy? It turns out that the USB port on the Pi Pico is really only good for programming the thing and not great for communicating back and forth. So unfortunately, to interact with Python programs that are running on PC, I'm gonna have to go through a dedicated serial adapter, which is what this Arduino Mega is acting as until the proper adapter that I ordered shows up. It's silly, it's very, very silly. And this is a serious channel. I can't have silliness like this. Bam, proper pin headers, minus 100 silliness. Bam, the proper serial adapter, minus 1000 silliness. You know, this has gotta be the most serious project I've ever done. Never mind. Wow, this thing is way more of a piece of flimsy crap than I thought it was gonna be. Look at this, there's like nothing to it. Either way, we can work with this. With the electronics figured out, it's time to make modifications to the board game itself to make use of them. Huh. 
The screw keeping this in is under the paper, which is like plasty riveted in. So that's epic. All right, I'm gonna have to do it. Oh my God, the fumes from this are making me age 25 years. <coughs> oh my goodness, man, I need a moment here. Oh, you know what? Instead of inhaling all of that toxic melted plastic air, I'm gonna use my new favorite flavored air device from Fume. What the heck is this? Well, for one, it's the sponsor of today's video. And two, it's just a really smart way to break bad habits. Fume doesn't have any electronics. Look, it's, it's just a flavor core in here. This one in particular is white cranberry and it tastes fantastic. And if you're a big mint person, they have a crisp mint pack with a really nice and strong, cool mint flavor. It definitely ended up being my favorite. Here's the clip from when I first tried it. Whoa, <laughs> crisp mint flavor is wild. Whoa, I have it on about halfway airflow. I don't even need it that high. The flavor comes through like crazy. There's no vapor and no harmful substances with fume. It's just you, the housing, and the all natural flavor core. I've personally been trying to limit my caloric intake lately, and instead of reaching for a snack, I just leave my fume on my desk and I use this instead. Head to tryfume.com slash bringus or scan the QR code on the screen, then enter code bringus to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. All right, this has actually been a really nice break from dissolving my lungs with ABS plastic fumes. So uh, let's get back to it. Bada bing, bada boom. It didn't stand a chance. What's inside operation? One of these, but tinier. Okay, I kind of just want this dome thing. Hold on, let me get the MRSA off. I also want this wire. Thank you. And this LED, which is once again like plasty riveted on. Oh, that's gross. That's nasty. Oh my God, the fumes. <coughs> uh. All right, thank you for the LED. And I guess up yours to everything else. Okay, so now I actually have something tangible to work with here for figuring out where all the components are gonna go. This is what I'm currently working with. So we've got this little magic man that communicates from the computer. Computer sends commands to this guy. It sends them to the PyPico. PyPico sends them to the controller. PyPico sees a button press in the form of this. It sends that to the serial adapter. Serial adapter snitches to the computer. So it's actually pretty simple, but now it's just a matter of kind of fitting everything in places and putting the motors in all four corners. So I'm gonna do that. Just like I did in the secretly gaming in public video, I took a top-down photo of the game and then imported it into Fusion 360. By tracing around all these extrusions that the object pockets make here on the back of the board, I can make a 3D printed piece that fits between all of them and uses them kind of like an anchor to keep all the components in place. This one here is for the motor controller and the Pico, and then this one is for the USB serial adapter. Due to the sheer girth of both the motors and the motor controller, I'm gonna have to raise the game up a little bit. These walls around the corner of the game will give us the clearance that we need to mount everything, and they're also a convenient place to put all the motors. With the board complete, all I have to do now is finish up the code, which took way longer than designing and building the whole thing. I really, really wanted the PC to be running the game logic, and getting everything to talk back and forth over serial was really not as trivial as I was hoping. But since I put in the work to do it that way, you can now integrate the board game into literally any Python program you can think of. I made a whole library for it. Everything is finally working well enough to give it a test drive. Wait, what is this one? What the heck is this supposed to be? Okay, that's going in last. This is a whole, this is a mammal. This is a mammal. This is an actual, an actual animal inside of this dude. Oh, and it's a horse. Oh, I wonder if this guy's ever been to Enumclaw. Wait, and there's a rubber band. Okay, this is apparently the ribs. Uh, I got scammed. I got scammed out of the rubber band. Hasbro, come on, man. How am I supposed to play Operation without my rubber band? This is this is my own rubber band. B Y O R B. I'm gonna loop it around twice because it's too big. All right, I don't have a title for this thing yet, but this is the first game of cracked out Operation. Here we go. Okay, doing good. Oh, found the rubber band. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hasbro. I'm so sorry. Okay, one down. <laughs> Dude, I, I know it's coming. I built this thing and it still surprises me. Little apple bottom bastard. I'm spooked. I'm big spooked. It's 
Switching to right hand. No. Two down. There we go. Wishbone. Easy enough. Broken heart. Oh. <laughs> I should make a sequel where I hook this up to a TENS unit. <laughs> I'm twitching in anticipation now. I'm being- Oh my- Ugh! I'm being conditioned by the game. This is only at 80% power too. Ugh! Dude, I I don't know how this is gonna look on camera. If my reactions seem exaggerated, I swear they are not. God, I'm just that jumpy. All right, spare ribs. Oh. Butterfly down. I just need to do it. I need to get it over with to get in here. <laughs> Look at that. They weren't lying when they said bread goes straight to your waist. No! What's happening? Why? Why did that happen? You guys saw that. You guys saw that. It was just popping off. I wasn't even touching it. Look at that. I got the water bucket. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get the horse out this man. Enough horsing around. Ah! No! Where'd it go? Dude! Oh, it's way in there. No. Mm. It's not coming out. No! Uh, so loud. Ah! Yikes, dude! removed just like any num claw wrench no stop no i'm not touching it are you uh. i'm going to have to just put up with it for a second mm, okay not bad not bad no wrench removed just a pencil. Ow! <gasps> Dude! Absolutely sick. That was calculated. Rubber band, rubber band man, rubber band man. How is this one supposed to be hard? That was so easy. Hold on. Let me use the OEM rubber band. Okay. The correct rubber band is installed. What the heck? That's the easiest one. I saved it for last. Cool. Well, now the next step is to f- oh! After working through some more of the bugs in the code and then creating some game modes for it, it's finished. I present to you Operation. Except it has four 12 volt rumble motors and it's fully controllable via serial and can easily be controlled by any existing Python script. The project is finished. The code is done. I have on my Sunday best. Let the games begin. For round one, the power level is going to be increasing every single time I remove one of the objects. And by the last object, which is the horse, we should be at 100% power. And speaking of our objects, our order today is the rubber band. I wrote down tweezers, but this is the wishbone, the pencil, the bucket, the apple, the bone, the ribs, the wrench, the bread, the heart, the butterfly, and finally, the horse. Starting off at 10%, this one's easy. Band is easy. Easy, ain't nothing to it. All right, increasing. We are now at 17.5% power. Wishbone. Oh, oh. Easy. It's like it ain't even rumbling. I didn't feel nothing. 25% pencil time. Ooh, almost got me there. But we got him, we got him. 32.5% bucket time. The bucket is easy. 40% apple time. Oh, the apple is in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're starting to get into spooky territory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sure are. Dude, it's so in there. 
how? How am I supposed to get this? No. I'm gonna have to just endure it. Alright, here we go. Almost. We got it. We got it. 47.5%. Bone. Bone easy. Sorry, 47.5%. We'll never know what you feel like. Because we're on to 55%. Ribs. Easy. Oh. Easy. Sorry, 55%. We're on to 62.5%. Wrench. Ooh, wrench is gonna be a little tricky. A little icky tricky. A little icky sticky tricky. Oh! Come here, little guy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, little guy. I just want to get you out of this man's foot. Ah! Ah! How are you supposed to get this one? No, yeah, you can pick it up like that. Okay. Mmm, or not. No. No! Okay, okay. We're not playing nice anymore, apparently. Okay, dude. I know. Thank God. Okay. Woo. Bread time. 70%. I hate the bread. It doesn't even look like bread. It looks like a tooth. Easy. Bread easy. 77.5%. We're getting close to the initial test that I had done earlier now at 80%. Heart. Wow. Yep, that's what I remember. Oh, the heart sucks. They make you think there's an easy way to pick it up, but there's not. There's not. Oh, yo? Yo? Okay. <laughs> it got kind of wedged in the thing. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. We have reached 85%. No man has played this game at this power level before. And I'm getting the butterfly. That was very easy. Looks like we're going... Oh, it's only at 92. I think I did my math wrong. Okay. We're going to 100%. My nemesis, the horse. I don't like the horse. I really don't like the horse. Christ, that smells like burning. Whoa! Oh my god, it unplugged itself. Alright, we're back. When the wires come loose, this thing is built to fail on, unfortunately. And it would take a lot of work to make it not do that. But it would probably be worthwhile. Dude, that really doesn't smell good. Can I shake the game? Like a, you know, like when you're trying to get a soda out of the vending machine? Oh, I can shake the game. Just like this. Um, I'm gonna have to glue down some of these cables. Yikes. Mm. Yo. Let's go. Let's go? That's right, Operation. I bested you. That's game mode one. There's another one I want to try. But first I need to glue down the cables in here so they don't come out. We do a little bit of gluing. All right, the board has been glued. Now we're playing time attack. I have 60 seconds to complete the game. Every five seconds you're gonna hear this. Which means the power level is gonna go up. Let's play. All right, band. Done. Wishbone. Yikes, yikes. Yikes, at least it's not that bad. All right, wishbone done. Uh, what is it, pencil? Pencil done. Bucket. Oh god. Uh, ah. Oh, bucket done. Apple. Oh, we're really getting up there. Apple done. Bone, bone. Oh, bone's already out, nice. Ribs. Yikes. Wrench. Wrench. So much time do we have? 23 seconds. No! Dude. This is really tough. Wrench done. Bread. Oh, come on, dude. Bread. Bread done. 
Heart. Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, I got so lucky on the heart. All right, butterfly. Ow, ow, holy crap, how much time? Four seconds. Horse, horse, get the horse. No, get the horse. I had seconds. Run it back. All right, bam, done. Wishbone. Easy enough. Uh, what was it? A pencil. Easy. Bucket. Easy. Apple. Oh, not so easy. Not so easy. Apple. Done. Bone. Bone done. Ribs. That ribs done. Wrench. Oh, yikes. Dude. Oh, that's usually where I choke. Alright, bread. Done. Heart. Heart. Oh, I'm gonna get fucked up. I'm gonna get... No heart. No! No heart. No heart. No! No heart. No! <laughs> heart done. Do I even have enough time? Butterfly. No, dude. I can't get the butterfly. No! Butterfly done, horse. I don't have any time. Oh, it bugged. Whatever. I had three seconds to go, I wasn't gonna make it. Okay, well, clearly I'm not skilled enough to play this game. But you know what's great about this thing is that you don't have to play just this game. You can program the whole freaking thing in Python. Maybe even like integrate it with other games on like a stream. You know who sounds like they'd have a lot of fun doing something like that? Am I, cra am I just, do I just not know Python? The scope is fine in Python. Okay, I guess the bear factory works in Python because Python doesn't make any sense. If it's heads and then tails. Oh. Went up spawning dragons. You know what? Never mind. We're gonna start running. <laughs> huh. Anyway, gaming.